Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Engineers, and today I'm going to be following up on a video I did earlier and showing you how to build a sun tracking solar panel setup. Now, this system is actually relatively cheap and easy to make, in my opinion, and is easily next to a, you know, just a wind turbine farm, one of the easier contraptions you can make, and it benefits from gaining power from the sun and maximizing how much power you can get. So to build this, we're going to need just a few blocks. And that is, we're going to need some armor blocks for shaping. We're going to need a camera, a rotor, a hinge, some solar panels, and everyone's favorite block, their turret controller. Now, to do this, what we first need to do is build a base. And I'm going to do that with just some standard light armor cubes. It could be in any configuration. I'm going to set them up in a T pattern and throw some slopes on here to kind of make it a little, just, just a little octagon. All right, there is that. So the next thing we need to do now that we have our platform is to figure out where we're going to kind of put our turret controller. Now, when I am doing all the solar panels, I find the best place to stick the turret controller is right underneath. So I'll just throw the turret controller right down there. We'll leave it just kind of shoved in there. And then to continue building, we'll need something to attach our rotor to. So we're going to use these light armor slopes and kind of create a little raised area. And kind of make a nice little enclosure there. And then we'll place our rotor right inside just like that. On top of the rotor, we're going to be placing our hinge. And on top of the hinge, we're going to be placing some blocks. What I like to use is I like to use for these basic ones, just these light armor slopes and just kind of throw like two or three up there. And then once we got that set up, we now just place our solar panels. And I like to actually kind of configure these a little bit so they're kind of just covering the hinge like that. And the last thing we need on this thing is a camera. I found the camera placement on these is very important. And I have noticed that they don't really like being at the base of the solar tracker. So what we're going to do for this one is I'm going to put it right here on top. Now, something that I do suggest doing that I didn't quite do on this one, and I'm going to fix that is we're going to sit here and throw a battery here at the bottom. One, so these we're building power up as we go. Two, because it has a control panel, and I'm going to need access to the control panel to make some changes. So we're going to go into the menu, and what I suggest is uniquely naming every one of these, whether it's as you are building it, or as you're kind of doing however it, because when you get a whole bunch of these, trying to figure out which part is which is kind of a little difficult sometimes. So either building them as you go and renaming them as you go, or figure out a way to build the block separately, set everything up, and then attaching it to your grid with either like a merge block or if you're using advanced welding, like a welding pad. So to set this up on the system logic side is we're going to select our custom turret controller. And all we need right here is scroll all the way down. And what we need to do is select our azimuth rotor as our rotor, our elevation rotor as our hinge and select our camera. Now, we're going to look at these azimuth velocity multiplier and our elevation velocity multiplier that by default set at nine and you can leave them at nine. 
However, they get a little jittery, so I always like to kind of bring them down. Um, three doesn't bother me, but I, if that bothers you, you can slow it down even more. The trick is, though, you want to make sure that the solar tracker can keep up with the sun. And, the, and um, we want to make sure that it's able to do so throughout the day. Or else it's not going to be able to keep up and you're just kind of losing power. So the last thing we need to do and it is we're going to continue scrolling down to just after the tool selection. And we're going to select this. Always aim at sun. If I select that, we're going to look at how it seems to just adjust. Nice and smooth. And there you go. Now... This is just a basic one. It's rather small. It's an easy one to build when you are just getting off the ground. However, let me show you a couple other ones that I've built, and I want to kind of go over a couple of the differences on them. So right here, I have just a couple of solar panel setups that I did a little earlier today. As you can see, they're a little bit higher off the ground and they have um, more panels. However, as you may notice, one is still using the old style panels, while this one over here is still use, is using the uh, colorable panels. And there's a very particular reason maybe why you want to use the older style ones. Because if you look closely, and those of you who know what I'm going to talk about already spotted this, um, I have doubled up these solar panels. Because apparently there's some sort of transparency going on. If you look, I'm getting full coverage on both of them. Now what this kind of results in, and we're going to go over here to my uh, LCDs I have just kind of shacked on the back of these. With this standard, which is four solar panels and the four half panels, I'm pulling in about 800... 40 kilowatts. Now, to make it fair, let's go ahead and just take out these uh, these half ones, and we'll just throw up some full-size ones, you know, just to keep it fair. Give it a sec for them to kind of catch up and do what they need to do. And as you can see, they are pulling in about 1.2 megawatts, which is pretty good. You could run a lot off 1.2. But if we just kind of jaunt over here and look at this setup, you can see that we've pretty much doubled it while maintaining the same amount of space. Um, so... Just kind of keep that in mind. If you're looking for just raw efficiency, the old style solar panels can be doubled up and mixed in with the ability to track the sun makes them very, very powerful. However, if you're looking for more kind of the looks of things and you want a solar panel that you can paint and change color to, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, the paintable or the colorable solar panels. You're just going to need more of them. And the nice part about these is you can scale them up as large as you need to. Um, or you can kind of figure out ways to kind of finagle them onto a grid where you can have multiple. Where, you know, you're kind of having like maybe you have uh, tunnels underneath the ground kind of connecting to the bottoms of each of these. You know, you can finagle a lot of different ways to kind of have a bunch of these connected while still looking good. So with all of that, which one of these do you think you're going to go with? Are you going to go with these older style ones with the doubled up panels or the newer paintable ones or even the, like the little simple one that we built earlier? Let me know down in the comments down below if you like this video go ahead and give it a like. If you like me, go ahead and give it a subscribe. And also, we have, uh, I, I haven't really said much of this, but we have a community Discord where you can 
hang out. It's just kind of starting, so it's a little slow, but I would really love to have more people on it building this community and strengthening kind of like all of this. On top of that, uh, we currently have one community server kind of up and going for Space Engineers. It's the same server I am playing on in my live stream, so you can go ahead and hop onto that and join me if you want. And I can guarantee you there will be more events later to come. So thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time.